Okay, once we've set up the scale to what we would require for our drawing, we need to have a look at our toolbar over here. Now, as you'll see, if we select the top one here, it looks like an N, but there's another one here that looks like an N that has a P on it. That's a single polyline. Anyway, select the line multiple tool there. And the first thing you'll notice is that it comes up the top here with a lot of different um, fields. So we've got the start point coordinate, end point coordinate, line length, and line angle. The drop down arrow here allows us to choose what sort of line we would like to put on the page. Um, most of the time you'll be using line single. There is a line segment, line multiple, line double. Line double will put in two parallel lines at a distance apart that you will set. For now, click on line single and all of a sudden when you move your mouse over the page now, the screen looks a little bit different. You'll see there's two arrows, there's one there and one over here, moving along the rulers, the vertical ruler and the horizontal ruler, and you've got a red dot on the end of your pointer near now your cursor. So what we need to um, realize is we're in drawing mode now. Um, if we deselect it and get the pointer tool, <coughs> we're back to just our pointer tool. Okay, line single. <coughs> now, did you notice that once we had put line sig single as our selection, um, when we went back over to the toolbar here, it remembered that that was the last thing we chose. So it'll be there to find again now before it was line multiple. Okay, select line single, and anywhere on the page, just want you to click with your left mouse. Now move your mouse, and you'll see that the line follows. You don't have to click and hold the left um, click mouse button, but once you click, it automatically puts one end or point of the line where you clicked. Now as you move this around, and your line's there, click anywhere on the page if you like and you'll see now that you have drawn a pink line in there well it's not really pink it's black because um, that's what color we've selected up here but at the moment it's pink because it's selected if you right click on the page you'll see it's still pink and you can grab these corners and move it around wherever you like you can also grab the middle and move the whole line keeping the line at the right length as, as you want, but you can move it. And you can grab this end and move that around too. Okay, you can make it shorter, you can go wherever you like with it. All right, right click again, and you've cancelled out the selection of that line, and you'll see it's black. So that's the last, um, that's the final stage of that line there, that's where it is. If you want to select that line again, just left click on it and you'll highlight it and you can move it around again. Now it's important to have a look up the top here at our start point coordinates, our end point coordinates, our line length and our line angle. Now we're at a scale of 1 to 10 and that line at the moment is 2932.88 millimetres which in metres would be 2.932 metres. If we want to change that, say I wanted to put a 3 metre line in there, or a 3,000 millimetre line, just select that and type in 3,000. Don't worry about millimetres at the end, you just type the number in. Now that's just changed that line to 3 metres long, or 3,000 millimetres. Worth noting is the start point coordinate now. Now, all uh, points of each line, the start and end point, are relevant to the drawing origin. If we have a look right down the left corner of the page, you'll see a green arrow and a red arrow. This is what we call the drawing origin. Now if you try and zoom in on that, you'll see that it's exactly, and now I've moved too far, it's exactly 
on the corner of the page, not the margin. You can change where you have the origin start from, but for now it's really important just to leave it where it is so we're aware of what's going on. Control G centers the page again. The drawing origin means that we've got basically two axes here in play. We've got one axis going up vertically and one horizontally across the page. In the next section we'll discuss the axes and changing the end point and start point of our lines, changing the angles and connecting lines.